Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. I've missed you guys. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I am back. All right. And uh, yeah, Virgo, it's been a minute. So I just feel like this reading will be pretty packed, just like the Libra's reading, just like the Leo's reading. But let's see what your overall energy is in love at this time. What is my beautiful Virgo's energy toward love at this time? Libra season could have been very significant to this connection. I'm also getting the third, all right, maybe the third month, like March. It does not have to be, but let's see. Ooh, seven of swords reverse. Oh, Virgo was not here for none of the bullshit. All right, Virgo, yeah, I feel like you swung the damn gavel on him. So I feel like there's an energy where it's been adjourned, right? So I don't know. I feel like you are in a space where you you know what you want and what you don't want. And I feel like that's something I've been getting with most of the signs today, where you've been really, you've been really keen on what your boundaries are and what your, what threat, what your threshold is for nonsense. And you're realizing you don't have one. All right. So with the seven of swords reverse, this is letting me know that you've been in situations where you've dealt with deceit, where you've dealt with sneakiness, where you've dealt with underhandedness. But this right here is a Virgo who's like, that's not uh, an, an energy that I entertain anymore. What X? OK, what man? What woman? I'm a virgin. I never had a man. I never had a girl. Right. So I feel like that's the kind of energy that you're having. It feels like born again, baptism vibes. And I feel like I'm only going I'm only being this dramatic right now, Virgo, you know, because I'm a little bit dramatic. But also because I really feel this vibe with you where you're you're drawing that hard line in the sand. What is this? Maybe it's with somebody. All right. Eight of wands, overall energy. So are you talking to somebody, Virg? Let me know. Or have you had this conversation with someone? I feel like you couldn't get this off your chest quick enough or you or you want to talk to them and you want to you just got some shit to get off your chest. All right. Either you want to talk to them or you did and you could have been speaking very rapidly um, maybe speaking very passionately doesn't have to be good, bad or neutral, right? Just, just passion. All right. But I just feel like this is something that you feel really strongly about. Why? Because you're involved and this is a Virgo who you're not playing about you anymore. All right, let's see. We have the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Something about the 14th could be significant. I'm also getting something about May. All right, May 1st or May 18th. May 8th could be significant here. Does not have to, but with temperance energy, Sagittarius uh, Sagittarius vibes. I feel like you've been wanting to say this for a really, really long time and you didn't. All right. But now those tides are turning. Now you're going to say it or now you just said it or you, you might say to yourself, like, if this person talks to me again or if I so bless them with my presence or my, uh, you know, yeah, my presence. I'm going to say this. I don't want to hold back on this. What do you feel like you've been holding back from this person though? All right. I feel like you want to, I, I just feel before I even get a card, it just feels like you want to call them out on their bullshit. Like you're just not putting up with it or something. Virg, what is this? What does Virgo want to say that you haven't said for a while? It's either you haven't said it for a while or you've been saying it for a while. It's one of the damn two. All right, we have insecurities here, but we also have boundaries. Remember I talked about drawing a hard line in the sand. So overall, what you want to convey to them is your boundaries. All right, the things that they're not doing. This person has not made you an offer or at least not one that you care to take. It just, no, it, it, it's just not it. I feel like you've had glimpses of some really nice times with this person, some really good vibes with this person, but they have not given you the offer that the Virgo is going to take. I like, what is this blasphemy? Get this away from me. What is that? All right. So I feel like if it's anything less than what you expect, Virg, you're not going to be, you're not going to smile about it. Somebody's not going to give you, give you a, a cup of shit and you're going to smile about it. This is not that Virgo who's just eager to please or doesn't want to ruffle feathers. This is a Virgo who doesn't really care about that because you care more about yourself and your own mental and emotional peace and livelihood that you're willing to show somebody discontent for the first time. I feel like this is a Virgo who hasn't really shown discontent. If you have, it's been falling on deaf ears. That's clear because the person is, it hasn't changed shit because you feel like you, you had to keep saying it. It's either that or you are going to say it. All right. But the card that came out for, you know, what you'd like to talk about is we have insecurities, right? So insecurities tend to be things that we don't want to discuss things that we'd rather hide, things that we don't want to put on front street. So I feel like you could be talking to your person about 
things about you wish that they would have been more vocal to you about certain things. You may not realize that they're this person's insecurities, but they are. This person doesn't seem to be wanting to hide things from you because they're trying to be sneaky, but rather because they're like, well, if Virgo knows the whole truth, the full truth, nothing but the damn truth, the Virgo may not like me anymore. But it seems like things that they've been through rather than things that are uh, just completely just out of line, sneaky. Right. So I don't know. I don't know what this is yet. Virgo. I'm just, you know, I'm just getting vibes, really. But we're going to dive deeper. OK, so that's one thing I, I don't like about being gone for a while because I get reinvigorated because this can be really exhausting sometimes guys like really you know I have three channels I do personal readings extended so I'm on it a lot but like this is one thing I don't like about leaving and coming back is the energy is very dense all right and I have to really pull it apart but yeah so the first card I got for your person's energy toward you is when you let go right this is their energy toward you and I sat with this a while before I pressed record because I didn't know what to make of it, right? I wasn't getting anything intuitively. I didn't know how to read the damn card. I'm just like, all right, okay. So then I pulled another card. I pulled from my black deck and then I pulled coffee cup. It talks about meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So that helped give me a little bit more clarity. It almost feels like this person's energy toward you at this time, Berg, is more friendly than it is romantic. It's more wanting to perhaps have a conversation, not necessarily about a tumultuous past, not about anything chaotic, but just about something friendly and lighthearted. I feel like your person has tried to let go of, and what's crazy is I, I just heard emphasis on your person. Like you, Virgo, you're still sitting with this. You're still trying to like grapple with, with whatever this is or whatever with whatever happened. It still revs you up. You still feel charged. It still feels like there's a charge behind whatever happened, whatever injustice you feel like what took place. But your person is like more like, oh, let's just let it go over. Let's let it go. Let's just be cool. Let's talk. Let's, let's be friends. It almost feels like a vibe. It almost feels like a gaslighting kind of vibe because for you to be this charged up and this passionate about something and this person to be this lackadaisical about it is what two totally different energies. So it makes me feel like either A, Virg, you lost your damn mind or two, your person is just completely ignoring the fact that this is something that requires a conversation. How does this person think my Virgo is feeling about them at this time? How does this person think my Virgo is feeling about them at this time? Queen of Pentacles for how they think you're feeling about them. Oh, wow. All right. All right. This is your energy, Virg. I feel like you felt this way at one point, but it's not what I'm getting. How does Virgo truly feel about this person at this time? How does Virgo truly feel about this person at this time? We have the Empress and the Knight of Swords. Okay. Wow. So Virg, somewhere in there, you're still feeling fond of this person. You still feel like there's something to salvage. Hence why you're so charged up, right? That makes more sense to have to be this emotionally charged it's got to be because there's still feelings there. I feel like you feel for this person in a very big way. You could have been married to this person in a really long-term relationship, but something happened to where you guys had to break up, release this, or, or you needed some time apart. However, back to your person. I just needed to get, first of all, I know I'm going all over the place. There's a lot of energy here, Virg, so bear with me. But I just feel like I needed to get your energy because I, I'm just... <sighs> I'm just so confused, Virg, <laughs> on how you're this emotionally charged. There seems to be a, a it has a, a, a bit of anger to it, but yet you're still open to perhaps being with this person or salvaging the connection. Whereas your person is like, okay, I know my Virgo may be having certain feelings, but I don't think they're that deep. So for whatever reason, this, this passion that you have about whatever went wrong or whatever the hell is going on in the, in the relationship, is, is not translating to this person. I can tell you that right now because they think your energy toward them is a queen of pentacles. That is a very calm, poised, earthly energy, a very Zen vibe. There's nothing Zen about how you came out, Virg. So I'm really like, you guys are on very two different pages and that could, and that could, um, or on two very different pages. And that could be the reason why too, your person, maybe they're not gaslighting you. Maybe they're not an asshole. You really just have not conveyed this. Virgo, what? Has Virgo conveyed their anger or no? Eight of Cups, bottom deck, hangman. Hmm. I feel like Virgo, every every time you were 
about to or every time you got a chance to, you're just like, you know what? Let me not. Let me just focus on the bright side of things with the eight of cups here and the hangman. All right. Because you always bend, Virg. You always when something feels uncomfortable, you, it's almost like you try to transmute the energy. Like, it's like, all right, this person then pissed me off. But you know what? Let me not register this as anger. Let me just give this person the benefit of the doubt. Let me just allow this to just go on and perhaps things will just change over time. feels like you had more of that energy. But the vibe I got from you in the very beginning was like, I can't. I can't continue to hold back. I can't continue to not say what I need to say. What does Virgo want to say to this person? Bottom deck hurting overall. I feel like overall, any anger, any, any negative emotions you have all stem from this one emotion of hurt, Virg. And this is a very, this is a very isolating card too, right? Because the way I read this, this person isn't really telling people that they're hurting. They're just at home laying down, kind of sulking in it. All right. And I feel like you sometimes, it's almost like you want to express your anger or your upset, but you don't do it directly. It's indirect or something. And your person, it doesn't land for your person. So you end up kind of just making them confused with the distractions card here. So you may say, you may be really upset because you guys are not in a committed relationship, but instead you argue with this person about something else, or you convey anger to, to this person about something else. And it's not a big deal. It's something you kind of make light of, but it's not light. But I feel like you've reached a breaking point because I feel, is Virgo at a breaking point though? Is my Virgo at a breaking point? Okay, we have main male and lovers. Uh, Apps of goddamn lootly. Because Virgo, you had a... <laughs> Virgo's had to say, it's like, listen, I'm about to start entertaining other connections. Number one. All right, you could be dating other people. You could have other suitors um, on you here, Virgo. Something about the 15th could be very significant, which happens to be the day after Valentine's. So I don't know. But I feel like also with main male here, I feel like you would you wanted this person to be your main person. You wanted it to work out with this person, but it hasn't. So you can't continue to, I guess, live in that delusion. You're starting to entertain the idea of other people. All right. Tell me more about this person, though, spirit, because Virgo, I feel like you have been really warring with yourself. Tell me more about this person. Tell me about the coffee cup. What is this meeting and conversing friendship? We got the three of swords and king of swords. Okay. I feel like right now your person feels like the only way to really deal in this connection is to be disconnected to some extent. Okay. Cause I feel like you guys just reconcile. Some of you guys literally just reconcile with this person, but it's in a more friendly way. And I feel like it's interesting though, because your person you could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. But I feel like your person Aquarius rising. Somebody has an Aquarius rising but I feel like with this person's energy, though, it's like they're kind of dis they seem a little bit disconnected from you. And I feel like that's something that's alarming as well. How does this person truly feel about the Virgo? How does this person truly feel about my Virgo? Okay, we over bottom. The bottom deck is dating, right? So that's interesting for their, how they're truly feeling, right? Because we go coffee cup, which re represents friendship. Ain't nothing friendly about going on a damn date. All right. So I feel like how they're, and this is truly, so I feel like your person, maybe they feel like the best way to get back with you or back on the good footing is like, all right, let me let this go. And let's just be friends. Very, let's just be cool. But that doesn't seem like it's their true intentions. Cause the card that also flew out was dreams. All right, I feel like your person is thinking of something different or they're wanting something different. Ultimately with you, they're still hopeful. If they know that, if they, if they think that Virgo has a problem, what do they think Virgo's problem is with them? What do they think Virgo's problem is with them? Eight of cups. <sighs> Clarify this before I say that spirit. Okay. Judgment. Three swords in reverse again. All right. I feel like your person, if they, if they do perceive any problem from you, they feel like it's the fact that, all right, Virg, that this was, this is a three of swords reverse, but I can't, you know, show it. So yeah, but it's like, they come back without addressing something fully. And that's your issue, Virgo. They know that that's your issue. I feel like your person comes back really wanting second chances with the judgment card here, but it's like, how do you expect me to give you a true second chance if you're not going to address why you left? I feel like this person could have left something about the month of August. They could have left you high and dry in August. 
I mean, then just come back like it's nothing. Like, oh, hey, Berg, what's good? It's like, what's good? All right, I got a mouthful for you. Yeah. All right, give me more here, Spirit, on this person's energy toward my Virgo. Look at this, monkey mind. So they're not all right. All right, they come off disconnected or they come off kind of aloof, but they're not. This is the monkey mind. So this is letting me know that there's a lot of different thoughts that they're having about this connection in their mind. All right, let's see at the bottom of the deck. I'm not happy is their overall energy toward this situation right now. So your person has not been happy with this. Very good. I don't know what you think, but they have not been happy about this. So I'm going to go into the extended to continue the story. I want to get your person's next actions toward you, how they truly feel, but do not have the courage to say as well as what you're not expecting them to feel as well as the likely outcome. If you're interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Berg.